If you are a California Instacart shopper, you may be eligible to claim your share of a $46.5 million class action lawsuit. Now, a lot of people are eligible for this return, so stay tuned as I'm going to tell you why this class action lawsuit is happening and how you can apply and get your share. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now, Instacart has admitted no wrongdoings in this case, however, they have agreed to pay out $46.5 million. Now, a San Diego attorney filed a claim against Instacart in September 2019 because they misclassified shoppers as independent contractors when they should have been classified as employees based on the scope of work that they do and other factors. If you're unsure what a class action lawsuit is, it is a legal case where the plaintiff brings forward a lawsuit on behalf of a group of people that suffered a similar loss. In this case, Instacart shoppers in California suffered a loss, and so now there is a lawsuit where Instacart is paying those shoppers sort of a reimbursement reimbursement for their loss. Now let's get into who qualifies. Now for starters, you do have to be an Instacart shopper that is located in California. Also is classified when performing work as an independent contractor between September 13th, 2015 and December 15th, 2020. A lot of people fit into this category, so I would definitely make sure and double check to see if you qualify for this payout. Now I'm sure all of you are wondering how much you're gonna be getting from this $46.5 million settlement. Now the answer is simple. Every single Instacart shopper who qualifies is going to receive at least $10. However, the amount is going to vary based on the amount of hours that you worked during that time period. And if not that many people apply and you worked a lot of hours, you will probably get a much larger settlement. Now there is a deadline for you to file this claim by, and that is August 31st, 2023. So you only have about two weeks left. So you wanna make sure to act fast and file your claim. Now I do believe that some people did receive an email stating that they qualified for this settlement and received an email containing a code and a password to go ahead and file their claim. However, I'm sure there are people that did not get this email or maybe you just skipped over it. Or if you simply cannot find your number, you can go ahead and contact the email that I am leaving in the description that is attached to this case. They'll be able to help you out and get you a number so that you can file your claim. I also will be leaving the official website in the description below Low, you can file your claim, have any questions that you have answered, and overall just find out more about this settlement. I hope you guys are able to file your claim and get your check. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching.